Hi, I'm Mr. E-Tutor, your mystery tutor here at mysterytutor.com, and welcome to video module 7-9. In this video module, we'll start talking about the identifying sentence errors questions. The identifying sentence errors questions, like every other question type on the SAT, are extremely repetitive. Once we learn to look for a handful of issues, we'll notice that this handful of issues accounts for almost every question that we'll see. Some of the issues on identifying sentence error questions I consider to be major issues. These are things that are likely to come up three to five times per test. Some of them I consider to be minor issues. These are things that appear one to three times. The major issues you're likely to see include subject-verb agreement, parallelism, and the proper use of pronouns. All of these concepts are covered exhaustively in our free guide, which is available immediately if you place your name and email in the box to the right-hand side of your screen. The minor issues can include improperly conjugated verbs, adverbs where adjectives should be, and vice versa, and other things that, again, are covered exhaustively in our free guide. The important thing to understand here is that a handful of grammatical issues, maybe six or seven things, will be repeated over and over again on this part of the test. All you need to do is be able to recognize. In fact, you're probably already pretty good at recognizing them, just with your intuition about what sounds right and wrong. With a little bit of training, with authentic SAT questions actually written by the actual college board, you'll find that your intuition is perfect. So remember, on these questions, it's not necessary to memorize and study every tiny detail of English grammar. Instead, you want to have a strong grasp of a few basic concepts, and let that be it. Remember, as always, if you focus on what's actually on the test, it's easier than you think. 